What's going on everyone, it's DV, and today I'm going to show you how to AFK farm every single metal in the game. That's right, every single type of ingot, including iron, steel, copper, gold, and bronze. Now, of course, if you have not seen how to set up an auto AFK farm for red bronze yet, you may need to watch that now because it kind of explains how I set this up. So you can see I'm under my base right now, and you can see I've got like the staircase and all that. If you haven't seen this yet, go click on that video link now. It is linked in the description, and it should just pop up over the video now. So so go watch that so you know how to make these. It is required if and only if you care about bronze, which you should because it's a very, very valuable metal right now. Now, if you don't think you can afford a red bronze refinery, that's okay. Some of these techniques will still help you for AFK farming all of these metals, including gold, bronze, and more. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, if you don't mind hitting that like button and smash that subscribe button if you are new. All right, so it is nighttime, so it's gonna be a little hard for you to see some of this stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and go slowly with this. I'm gonna first recap how I set this up. So so what you have here is the gold drill, right? So we got the gold drill, and we're gonna hook that up in a second. So the gold drill is going to basically be set over a gold block, right? And I have another gold drill here that is not powered yet. I'm gonna go ahead and power it up, and there we go. Drop a coal in there so we don't have to wait. And this is going, right? So I can fill these up if I really want to. So you use these in and out chests, right, to help extend. They're kind of like used as conveyors. That's the only thing I use them for is conveyors that don't despawn on you. Because if you use conveyors, then your conveyors are going to cause despawn. It may seem like a good idea, but it's not because they do have max entity limits in the game. So like a big newbie mistake is to just make really, really long conveyors. And then you're going to lose all your stuff. By the time it reaches its destination, it's going to be gone. So the way these in and out chests work, obviously, is they have to fill out for things to come out. Okay. So each time we get a gold, now it's going to push it out. And so all of this feeds into the same spot right now for the gold. And we're going to change that. This design here is only if we really really wanted a ton of bronze well we don't really care about having a ton of bronze for this what we care about right now is making this afk farm right so we have that this one is powered off right now because this was set up to a uh, copper press so i think i'm going to go ahead and turn this one on and then we're going to disable the press now this farm design does not lend itself well to like if you want to auto do factories like if you're trying to auto factory just do that this is not going to let you do both i mean you could you could it just wouldn't be very efficient so let's go over here i'm going to show you my still farm. So I've made a video on this still farm. If you want to try to replicate it, you can. It, it's still really, really good. I've never had any issues with this. Some people are trying to squeeze even more still. I have like infinite still here. Like I'm all, I'm never running out. I use tens of thousands and I never run out. This farm is beautiful. So if you want to try out this still farm as well, I will link that in the description. This is my older farm though. I haven't, I haven't touched it in a while, but you see here it drops down, right? It drops down to a bucket. And then I used to have a chest that would come out right here and it would just automatically feed over here into my still press well now i'm going to change it so i'm completely altering it to so see how i just made a hole at the bottom and that way it's going to drop down here so ultimately everything's going to come out here when i'm done right so what i like to do is i like to back away from whenever i'm designing stuff i back away from the chest so i design outwards from whatever the end output is so this is going to be my ultimate chest right so backing out i obviously have my red bronze refinery well that means anything that comes through here is obviously going to have to be red bronze so if i want to be able to have like steel coming over here steel is going to have to drop right here right Cow, you got to move dude you gotta move you gotta move move oh my gosh hacker move there you go bye cow don't worry the cow's safe it's up there okay so here's the deal that means everything needs to drop right here right so what i'll probably do is i'll have to extend this out and then i'm gonna have everything drop onto another output chest right here so all of my extra gold iron and copper that's been smelted and i didn't mention this but i'm also gonna include coal in this because i want coal as well we always need coal so i do have eight thousand, so i don't need a ton of it so i'm only going to put like maybe one or two totems feeding coal into here and then that way i can auto farm coal while i'm doing this so basically when we're done here you're going to be able to auto afk iron coal steel copper gold and bronze that sounds awesome right i thought i would and i need the chest out here so this is where we're going to afk now and this is what stuff's going to feed into so we're going to make the little passageway that way nothing falls out basically a big bucket right so obviously i have this right i have all this set up it's making bronze now what we need to do is first step i'm going to feed this back down so we're going to start getting steel into this. So 
you need to get ready to make a ton of stairs because we're going to be using a lot of stairs for this. So make sure you get a bunch of wood because if you don't have a bunch of wood, then you're going to run out of materials. It needs to be a little closer here and then I'm just going to turn it. Now you can set this up however you want. As long as it reaches the destination, we're safe. We're good. I'm going to feed it to the side here. We're going to bring it right there. So it's going to slide down and then we're going to have to go down like that. That works. Okay. So let's go ahead and clean this up so we don't have such an ugly mess here. Get rid of all this excess. Now, one of the things that I probably should have mentioned, but I do inside all of my other videos, is that if your copper resource, at least your island, or if your gold islands are not close to each other, you're going to want to destroy them and let them respawn because they will get closer to your island. They did patch that. Previously, they used to spawn really, really far from your island, and now they all spawn close to it. So if yours is really far, maybe you have an older resource island, you should respawn it. Now, it does take 20 hours for that to happen, so don't be surprised if you're like waiting a long time for it. So how you reset those little islands, don't reset your entire island but how you reset your resource island is you just just mine out the ore deposit and it will know that you took it out so so that's all you got to do is just pickaxe at it and get your i think it gives you like 30. i know i'm using glass it's a no-no to use glass for me in videos i just have a ton of it right now and i like to be able to see what my resource is doing so while it's sliding down i want to make sure it's going all the way down but if it's really hard to see it's okay just like just know all you need to do is logically contain it you don't need to have like a perfect tutorial for this, this is the easiest thing for you to do so just make sure it's completely encased and don't block the path right you're just making a wall see the wall that's all you're doing you're just baking a little border here that's all you got to do it looks like it's going too far so let's go ahead and block that so it stops going on top of it there we go that should work because we're going to have some issues let's go ahead and break this real quick and let's move that back up we're going to have some input output chest issues later so let's do this instead some of you are nodding your head because you know exactly what's going to happen with that input output chest it gets really messy okay so we're good here let's just watch one more still come down and if you don't want to wait you could just drop one all right and there it is it's working all right so we got steel and pretty soon we're gonna get some bronze through here so i'll just put one in here so now we need to feed some copper over so we need this copper for our bronze so we need this drill in order to be able to make our bronze so we can't do anything about this drill we also can't do anything about the other gold drill that's making our gold for that one so what we can do though is we can use the other gold drill and this other copper drill in order to make our ingots just for our chest right because we might want to sell copper we might want to keep copper whatever you want to do with your copper and gold obviously you're going to want to keep it so now there's a couple ways we could do this we could do this with a single smelter like so if you don't have that many smelters you know you got obviously you have one dedicated to the bottom here for your gold and then you're going to have a smelter with your still farm right i only have one smelter powered on right now all the others are turned off right now because i'm going to turn those on in a little bit so i've got two mills hooked up to my one smelter and then i got a smelter down here right that smelts my gold and my copper and so i only have two smelters out right now so based on that if i want to use one more smelter basically three smelters total then i could actually make it smelt not only my iron and my copper but also my gold so i can feed all that stuff into one more smelter if you're really low on smelters otherwise you could just dedicate smelters all day long it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna go and remove this thing here and we're gonna design it around one more smelter okay so not many more smelters going on here we do have despawn concerns so we don't want that too many coal totems out so let's go ahead and get these and get ready to do this so again this is going to be another stair type setup so i'm going to bring this all the way down with stairs so see how i've got this path we're going to make a second one that's going to feed into a separate smelter next to it so there's going to be two smelters at the bottom here again giving us a total of three smelters no more smelters than that now if you want more iron than that you can always just scale it you can just feed it into the same spot it's not that hard so i'm going to start bringing stairs down here we're going to bring this down thankfully we already have a baseline of where we need to go so you're going to want to do one step at a time with this entire process it may seem a little complicated but this is actually very simple once you see how we're doing it we're not going to use load balancers i was going to load balance stuff and i decided everyone not to do that because i could load balance the copper drills i could load balance the gold drills i could load balance everything and i was like you know at some point load balancing can get really tedious but load balancing is cool and all if you're really just trying to optimize your item spawns to prevent despawn all right so now when this drops it's going to go straight down and we're going to put a chest input output chest there and we're basically simulating what we already did in the old build right with our red bronze refinery we're going to do the same thing so you can see over here all you got to do is just a bunch of chests that's a lot of input output chests i realize that i realize that not that big of a deal for me but for you maybe that's why i was saying make sure you respawn your stuff now one of the things i realized just now in doing this is we're going to want to make sure this is a little bit further up because we need to the way we need to feed this in so our smelter is going to have to feed into this right here let's have our smelter feed onto this side so let's hook up the smelter first and we'll get our height that right there that should work okay 
Okay. So the gold is gonna feed straight into this. We're going to drop it from above. So you're gonna put some glass around here and something like that. That way we can dump straight into this because we don't want stuff like popping out. We're gonna put a couple conveyors there. That way when it drops in, it doesn't pop out. Okay, so let's go ahead and move that over here. I'd like to save you some in and output chests. So we're gonna try something. Just putting a little border here. You don't have to worry about these so much as the others because they're not turning. So they're not likely to blast out. All right, just so we can get an, an idea of how high we need to go, let's go back over here. So we're gonna need to be about six or seven. I'd rather be too high than not high enough. So let's go back over there and we're gonna start at about seven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is where we should be at. Get rid of all this. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and connect this all the way across again. You can use an auto clicker to help you with this as well. That's the one thing I like about glass is the auto clicker. It auto clicks really well on glass. It doesn't work so well on like grass or other blocks, but because you can see through glass, it, it works really well. Okay, so that's good. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a tunnel and see if it sticks. Yeah, I think it will. Check this out. Look how far it travels. That's great. Looks like it slows it, it slows down about right here. Yeah, about right there. So what you could do is if it's slowing down about right there, let's just let's just put an input. We'll start putting input output chest right here. We're gonna drop down one level. Thankfully we did one plus and let's start putting chests there. That saves us a ton of chests. I probably should have done that with this bottom one too, but it's okay. We got a lot of people on the server right now, so it's lagged. All right, let's go and let's set up some more. You should use that. Uh, I have a start flag. So like if I drop off, I respawn where I was working. So if you're wondering what the little timer is, I'm not doing an obby right now. All right, so that's working really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it straight over instead like this. We're gonna use stairs and we're going to cut into this side right here like that. And this is gonna be blocked right here, as well as on the sides. We're just gonna put two conveyors right there and one set of stairs right here. And we need some light. It's really dark. I, I wish there was like a night toggle or something. So while I'm recording, I didn't have to do this. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So the way it works is obviously when this fills up, let's go ahead and fill these up so you can see what I'm talking about. So that drops down, goes into this one, and then this one needs to be filled up. There we go. Let's go ahead and hook up the gold and we're gonna do iron right after. We're gonna feed the gold from here using stairs. So I'll put a stair right here and we'll bring that up. So that's gonna how, I think that's how I'm gonna do that. I think that's good. And I'm thinking I might get some acceleration going. Look at all the stairs coming down. This is one wild factory. But what I love about it is I can get everything, right? I can get red bronze, I can get copper, I can get iron all from one AFK chest. And that way 24 seven, I'm just AFKing the resources I need. And then when I wanna make stuff, I just make stuff with the materials. I love it. Okay, so this is gonna, I'm actually gonna make this turn right away. I'm gonna stairs it down here. So let's go ahead and hop up there. So I'm gonna get stairs. So we're good here. Get some stairs right away. And then we're going to make a turn. One more. I believe we are directly above it now. Yep. Yeah, this should work. Let's go and seal it up. If it doesn't, I'll just put some chests out. You're going to have to just make sure this corner is nice and tall so stuff doesn't fly out. Just put our boundaries right here so it doesn't fly out. Get the sides of these stairs sealed in. And then we're going to test it. We don't have to wait for the drill. We'll test it. Let's go test this out. Looks like it's not getting enough acceleration. Okay. So we're going to need to use input output chests, unfortunately. It's because we're making a turn. Unfortunately, hopefully you're design doesn't have to be so many turns. If you can find an optimal spot that doesn't require any turns, you won't need so many uh, input output chests. I'm just gonna do a little bit of extra security here. I mean, what I could have done was done a straight shot to get the acceleration and then made a turn, but I don't, uh, it doesn't, I don't need to. We'll just do this. So let's fill these up with gold ore. Okay, so that is going now. So for the coal, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to set up some um, conveyors up here. I'm gonna go a little higher, make sure that's good. So we're just gonna make a platform above. I know it's a little hard for you to see, bear with me. I know it's hard for you to see. So let's do clay. Here's what I'm gonna do. So this is at the very top of our AFK output, right? So our AFK area is right here. So you can see we've already got some copper, we got some steel. We're not gonna have any bronze for a while because I have to fill this up. I only have one right now, probably because we haven't been having much gold. It's, it's the server, the server's lagged. Look at, it shouldn't have 30s all over it. Yeah, it's just lagged. So there's too many players trying to connect and stuff. So once I go to VIP server, it'll be good. So we'll finish that. We'll finish the video on a VIP server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a bunch of totems around these. So I'm gonna set up cold totems. And the best way to do that is in every other gap. So every other space. And then we're gonna extend this out a little bit more so we can put our totems. Don't really need these corners. And that corner is unnecessary. And that corner is, can't do anything in the corner. So, okay. So that tells you where you need to put coal totems. So one right there, there. And I'm making a bunch of them because we do need lots and lots of coal. That should do it. So there's our coal farm and you could add more if you want, you know, just extend it out or just make it double sided. You could also just keep making layers if you wanted to. I mean, there's no reason you couldn't do layers above. So you could just stack them, stack them, stack them, stack them. Over here, I'm actually gonna do iron. So the thing is, is I don't really wanna make more smelters. So what I wanna 
want to do is I want to share the iron with the smelter, right? I don't really want more smelters if I can help it. Now, if I wanted more smelters, I can make a smelter farm above it. But for this example, at least this first part of an example, I'm going to show you how to do it with this smelter. And all you need to do, simply put, big surprise, right? Big surprise. You just need to put an iron totem next to a conveyor. So we could just put this iron here like that. And because the gold is going so slow, you could probably afford to do something like this too. And that'd be all right. And now we've got a smelter that's going to smelt gold, copper, and iron. And then we could just sit down here and AFK. Now the amount of steel you get is completely up to you based on how many you've got active. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go up top real quick and activate the others. And that way you can see how crazy this can get. I'm going to do that on another server. All right. So I'm back on my VIP server this time. So everything should be moving buttery smooth. And I'm going to climb up and I'm going to start setting these totems. I'm only going to set up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to set up five. Uh, yeah, five. I don't want other stuff despawning. So, and I don't need too much steel. Now, if you need a lot of steel, then just do what you need to do. But I don't need it. All right. So I want to drop back down and check out the gold. See how this stuff's going. We got gold coming in now. Finally, looks like gold is being smelted. Finally, finally. Okay. So this is full. So yeah, you're going to want to sit here and AFK this all the time. Where be our copper? Why is our copper not coming out? Uh, we have an issue back here. For some reason, it's stopping here now. It's just dropping differently. It might be lag because the, because the server was lagging so much, or it could just be based on how it's falling now. So let's try one more thing before we give up on that. Try one more thing. See if I can give it a harder fall. Yeah, uh, seems to be helping a little bit. Let's try one more. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like it's server specific. Looks like it might be lag related. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna set up input output chest. That's a bummer. I think it depends on server lag. So just to be safe, we're gonna set up these. Set up conveyor right there. Okay, so that's a bummer. Man, it was working flawlessly too. In this, so in this design, definitely don't try to do it and input an output chest because what's gonna happen is things can't go through, right? It's only gonna be the first block here. So inside of an input output chest, let me go over here real quick. So in input output chest, whatever block is here, whatever type of item is here, that's the only thing that's gonna push through. So even if you have all this gold, and then just one copper. Whatever is in this slot is what's going to push through. The rest is going to stay inside. So that's problematic, right? So you can see you're going to have to auto click this very, you're going to have to auto click this constantly because it's going to constantly be filling up. And you really want that gold. <laughs> now, if you're getting too much of something, like you're like, eh, I don't really need that much coal, just turn off the totems. Like I'm getting a ton of coal right now. And I only have, I don't have all my steel mills set up. And I'm getting a ton of steel. This is still going. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of gold coming through. That's so frustrating. Look where the gold landed. Ugh, we're going to have to put a, we're going to have to put a stair right there. There we go. This fills up so fast. Put some gold in real quick. Yeah. So gold's working great. Copper, we're going to have to see. Let me go fill it up some more. So copper is eventually going to come through here just fine and drop through. I'm going to go ahead and drop some in. Actually, I'll drop some gold through just to make sure this is working. That works just great. Okay. So, and then this one's working as well. So this is, this just needs to fill all the way up and then it's going to start pushing through as well. So this is going to work out just great. So this one's just going to take a while because you are talking about 30 copper. It's got to, you know, because this chain is broken now because I kind of broke it, I didn't let it fill up. So all these chests need to fill up for them to actually reach it. But this is awesome. I'm actually excited because I'd rather have this honestly than the auto presses because I've got so many parts and I can just buy those. So check this out. Like, look at my parts. Uh, I got like how many bolts I've got. I've got 450 bolts. I've got so many of those. I've got a bunch of rods. So I've got 46 steel, 145 of those. I got a bunch of plates, right? I've got, you know, and I'm still buying these. So I'm just, I'm just trading for those. I don't have to farm for those. I don't have to like, I don't even have to make them anymore. I could pretty much disable all my presses if I wanted to. We're getting plenty of stuff here. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.